I want to bring your attention to something called the uh, product. No, I'm not. Um, I'm not a. Um, um, hmm. Evaporate. All right, that's the name of the company. I mean, the name of the product. WR Metals. A lot of people use their products. Um, it. Uh, what, you can put this on as you're working with the concrete, and say you're doing a big slab, which I'm going to show you in the background here. Say the slab is. Let's use the diameter. We'll follow my mouse. And this is the garage. It's just, you know, 40 foot wide and 30 foot this way. But you're working away from the wall backwards. And you, after you finish uh, bull floating an area here, you would then spray this product on. Um, now, if you bull float it, spray the product on, and then see a spot and bull float again, the product's not working at that point. You have to put it back onto the surface again, spray it on, mist it on. And what it does is it helps with the drying out the top too prematurely. You don't want the top dried out while you're working on it and it, what dries it out as you can see the def, um, the, what they're saying wind um, surface temperature you know the ambient temperature um, all these things humidity you know lower those dry areas going to dry it a, a desert area is going to dry it out higher than if you, uh, faster than if you were in the hills of Colorado for example or a high moisture area so like I made a few comments for them, but let's let's just, this guy. Let me first show you what this guy says. It's just amazing. Um, and then we'll go through it'll be much weaker. I started learning pretty quick that you could wet the concrete and kind of really rough it up. To I believe this is the homeowner who's, who's learned this from this guy, and he's the contractor, concrete contractor. Here we are. The so cream where back, you want it. Bring it back to life. Yeah. It says it brings the concrete back to life, adding water. That's ridiculous. But then kind of let it stiffen up just a little bit. Yep. And then trowel it, and it would be nice and smooth. But if you trowel it while it's kind of fresh, you get just lots of trowel marks. Chatter, chatter mark. yep. So this is just craziness. What's going to happen is uh, he's going to delaminate the surface. It's going to fail. Let's go to 1945. Look at water. Adding that water to that to this to this mix, all it does is weakens the surface. And turn this down. You can see mad that water. That's terrible. It's just weakening the mix surface. That is ridiculous. And he's got a concrete shirt on too, so it appears he's been doing this for a minute. And what it, what it amounts to is he didn't have enough guys. He didn't know how to calculate the temperature in relationship to the weather, uh, to his concrete. You know, I had no relationship to the concrete. And adding it all together and coming up with a, with, a, with a resolution to make sure he doesn't have an issue. Um, so it's just terrible. It is absolutely terrible that they do this. Um, yeah. Stronger if it cannot lose its moisture. If it loses its moisture, it'll be much weaker. I started learning lose its moisture, it'll be much weaker. I started. Let me do this. Holy guacamole, senor. Want can has burrito? You do this every day. Sometimes five, six, seven times a side. Oh, yeah. Much stronger if it cannot lose its moisture. If it loses its moisture, it'll this be much weaker. This lamination. This pad was, was you can, you can, you can <laughs> hydrate your surface so you're helping it not evaporate. You don't want the top to dry out too fast. And that's why people use misters onto concrete. Some people do and some people use plastic. Um, you just don't want it to dry the top to dry out too fast. This is not. This is excessive um, within the time frame of, uh, of this finishing that I watched this whole entire video. I started learning. Pretty There's a machine still on the pad. Um, Quick that you can wet the concrete and kind of really rough it up to get the cream where you want it. This is how you cause delamination. Life. Yeah, and but then he says bringing concrete back to life. That's just amazing. It's uh, this person thinks that. All right, so this is what you do instead of using that water and all that craziness and causing failures. Um, here's a product by WR Metals. I have used this product quite a few times. Um, the 1600 is what a lot of the uh, 1610 is a lot of what the uh, states recommend. Um, state states um, specify. They want this on there. So this film will go on there to help protect it against uh, breaking down prematurely. And it will break down over time. As you see here, four weeks, approximately four weeks, the membrane. 
and concrete takes about that long to set up, although it will keep setting for years as a, as a science has shown. Um, but nevertheless, this is in the uh, window of the concrete coming to its full, its, its, well, its larger strength if you can. Um, so here we are here. Uh, I'm ending this video. Just wanted to talk to you guys about a couple of things that are terrible. Contractors in concrete. Some of them.